basically somebody put up a mock draft and they said that Bronny was not in that mock draft. He'd probably be taken in 2025. And here comes LeBron mm -hmm. on his horse, puts on his cape. And like the other kids out there striving to be great, just keep your head down and work. These mock drafts don't matter a bit. I promise you, only the work matters. Let's be real. And didn't he say some other stuff about, um, you know, why don't you just let a kid be a kid? Like he talked about this shit like mm -hmm. it's showbiz pizza. Didn't he say that? Yes. Like he, like, like, like he did not start that. Bro, he said Bronny could make plays better than some of the active players right now. He said like half the league. Yes. I got a chance to spend time with Bronny last year in McDonald's All-American. Great kid. Gets a bad rep. Comes with the territory of who your daddy is. Just wants to be one of the kids, right? Had a great showing. A lot of people felt like he shouldn't have been there. Kid's very smart. Makes the right plays. High IQ. Was able to uh, have 15 points in the game, right? Now, summer hits. Has some issues with his heart. Kept him out. Sideline, you know. Has been very blessed to return. A lot of people don't return when they have heart issues. It's kind of like, that's it. I'm sure he had the best treatment in the world. Now he's about playing, playing under 20 minutes a game, five points a game as a freshman. Very serviceable. But to throw him on a mock draft is disrespectful to the game. I don't think he's not deserving, but I think he needs time to grow. And, you know, there's a quote, you know, elevators to success. I think he can earn his own keep on his own time without his dad. But I think there's a, Bigger issue because they want to do the Ken Griffey Jr., Ken Griffey Sr. shit. Right. Well, at least LeBron wants to. I don't know LeBron if LeBron wants want to do to. it. LeBron wants to do it. And he's also going to control this narrative of that it's way bigger than six rings or that it's way bigger. And again, I'm not here to bash LeBron because LeBron is one of the greatest players to suit up. LeBron is on pace to have 40,000 points. LeBron is on pace this season also to play 57,000 minutes. He's about to surpass Kareem this year, Bomani. That's six days of playing straight basketball, no breaks. <laughs> basketball immortality. That dude is just ridiculous. But he be on some bullshit. <laughs> he be on some bullshit. That's it. Like, that's all I want to say. Like, like this one right here, first of all, no, nah, man. Unfortunately, no, we can't just let him be a kid because he's actually not really no. a kid, right? Like, by mm -hmm. this time, you was in the NBA. And I mm -hmm. know you, LeBron had to take on weight that he does not want his kids to have to take on, obviously. But the truth is, yep. this is the game. And you know that this is what the game is, right? I feel bad for Bronny on the mock draft stuff because I felt like people were putting him way too high in mock drafts last year because mock drafts don't matter. So you can do anything you want in them far-off mock drafts just to get people to click, just to get people to talk about it. And so then Bronny's it's name... A, it's a clout drive. It's a total clout drive, right? And so then Bronny's name gets recycled and pushed around in ways that the average person is assuming more of him then it's honestly fair. If he gets to the NBA at all, it is a victory because getting to the NBA at all is really, really hard. But then when you look at it, it's juxtaposed against, you talk about LeBron trying to get him a multi-year deal to keep playing, and all of it just looks like, man, this don't seem like it's going to be any fun for anybody because I'm going to tell you this right now. If I got on the, in, to the NBA and we take an NBA road trips, the last thing I need is my daddy down the hall. And by the way, I don't know how much my daddy wants me down the hall. Hey, you potting. You is potting right now because I ain't even think about that. I'm just that. saying. That's a whole nother I'm thing. I'm just saying, like, right? would, you, would you really want to be out here living on the road with your kid or living on the road with your pops? Especially when you want to be your own man. And I don't think that's even the whole scenario of what he's got a chance to do yet, right? He's not even allowed to do, like, media. Like, bro... Imagine he have a bad game, bro, and they like, yeah, Bronny James PR. You think Bron gonna step in for the team and be like, nah, he not doing it. He not doing it tonight. <laughs> like, he can't speak up. And that was used to be, that's crazy, like, to control the media part. Like, bro, he a collegiate athlete. Now he got to speak for his own. You can't just be like, no, nah, no no further questions. No, no. Wait till LeBron start hitting him with strays. You know, LeBron start putting out that passive aggressive stuff out there. Hey, look, man, let me tell you this too, Bronny. Like, I mean, he loved you more than he loved D-Wade. However, 
uh, he'll trade you both. Yeah. If it affects his, if it start affecting some other stuff, oh yeah, because he can be like, yeah, you know, we we got to be focused. You know, I know it's these girls and these cars and these jewelry and these young people. They just don't want to. They're like, bro, that's your son. <laughs> You killing me, bro? Thing? Brody, you know Brody used to that. They gonna come ask Brody about that and be like, "Yeah, it's what your dad had to say. Yeah, he would do that, wouldn't he?" Or they both, mm-hmm. or they both be, or they both be sitting in there with each other, like, "No, nah, nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong." Or he's in a season. He's on an island. They share the floor, and you got Luka Doncic, you got Jalen Brunson, you got Dame, you got Halliburton, you got Westbrook, you got all these motherfuckers that's really good, and they like. Yeah, your daddy not going to save your ass. And LeBron actually is the drop coverage, but he's older now. And he's thinking he's doing like his, he think he's doing his best to like save his son on the help side. And like, bro, they going to be talking so much shit. They going to be, they going to be talking so much shit. Do you remember that first game, Patrick Beverly on Lonzo Ball? And that was Lonzo Ball. I do see it from this perspective too. Bo, I think he going this year, despite what anybody else talking about. He going to go, and he going to be drafted. Which team is going to waste that second-round pick on him <laughs> is what I'm curious about. Prize picks is the most fun you can have by winning up to 25 times your money. And with the football season over, you can still win money with basketball and hockey. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. You can pick combo projections across multiple sports from the Specials League, a league created specifically for combo projections that includes two or more players from different sports or leagues. Prize Picks is really simple to play. You can make your picks and submit your entry in less than 60 seconds. So make sure you go to prizepicks.com slash Bomani and use code Bomani for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash Bomani. Prize Picks. Daily fantasy sports made easy. 